Okay, you can get the uh, LX4D um, FishEye plugin from their website, uh, which is LX4D.com. And uh, just to show you uh, introductory video, a little bit of the controls. And it is free, uh, it doesn't cost anything. Here we have um, Final Cut Pro 10 open up. We, we do have our GoPro video uh, in a project. Now when you install it, you should see a um, folder right here, uh, LX4D, and of course the plugin itself, which we're going to add to the uh, GoPro video. And as you can see, if you're looking uh, up above here, uh, as you can see, it's kind of a curvy, which is uh, due to the uh, wide angle lens. And go ahead and fill the filter in there, just like so. And uh, as you can see, it actually straightens the picture out quite a bit. Now, as you notice, it's not perfect. And you can see a little bit of curvature right here. But um, software fixes can only do so much and it's not really the fault uh, necessarily of the plugin. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on the video here, bring up the preferences uh, for the plugin right here. And here you can make a couple of selections and these are the um, depending on what type of GoPro you have. Um, set up here, GoPro 90 degree wide angle lens. We've got 127 and 170. Now it kind of auto detected the best one uh, for the type of video I had, which it chose um, GoPro 170 right here. And you can also choose custom and um, adjust it uh, in accordance with your preferences. And we're going to leave it there right here. And you can also have a grid. What that does is you can judge. Um, it kind of gives you a grid right here. So when you're adjusting it, you can compare it with the grid to ensure it's as straight as possible. And as you can see, there's still a slight uh, bump right here. And that's the uh, LX4D fisheye fix.